Hi, hello everyone. How are you? Welcome to another new videos uh, of the Kirak MRCS channel. And this YouTube channel is dedicated for MRCS examiner who wants to pass the MRCS exam very easily. Uh, so uh, this question and answer session will help you a lot to prepare yourself for MRCS exam and carry a better mark in MRCS exam and pass the MRCS exam finally. So here the question. Uh, first of all, read the question very carefully. It is one of the parts of answer the question. So here the question. A 52 years old male attend a renal transplant clinic for a post-operative assessment. You note that he is on cyclosporine and that is a recent blood test shows that the cyclosporine level is elevated of the adverse effect noted below which is the greatest concern so after careful reading we have to find out the key points the key answering point which is very helpful for answer the question within short time so now read very carefully a 52 years old attend renal transplant clinic for post-operative assessment that means the patient received a kidney from the donor you note that the cyclosporine level and the recent blood test shows that the cyclosporine level is elevated. That means a chemical agent which is used uh, for this patient is increased and whose adverse effect is greatest concern. That means this cyclosporine level, it uh, causes damage which of the organ. So we have to find out that. So here are the, the options. The options are hypothyroidism, diabetes mellitus, alopecia, hypothermia, and nephrotoxicity. So we have to find out one of the options in which the cyclosporine acts largely and causes damage to the organ. So here we can see this these two two sets. These two sets are very very important because the uh, uh, the content of the two sets are frequently asked in the different exam and it will help you to answer the question very easily and other questions. So here we can see the cyclosporine, cyclosporine uh, here are different uh, options and it involves in T cell activation. Uh, T cell activation uh, inhibits, so uh, cyclosporine it inhibits uh, calcid uh, Mm, calcineurin a phosphatase involved in T cell activation so cyclosporine it reduces T cell excitation and it is nephrotoxic so it acts on kidney higher level of the cyclosporine may act on kidney and its level should be monitored on the other hand we can see the azathioprine the azathioprine it causes my yellow suppression that means bone marrow suppression alopecia and nausea so at, in case of uh, if we use azathioprine its side effects includes by a low suppression that means bone marrow suppression alopecia that means hair loss and nausea and uh, we can see it is metabolized from is six marker to purine which inhibits dna synthesis and cell division and then tractolimus this tractolimus it is high incidence of impaired glucose tolerance and diabetes so uh, we can see the side effects only here uh, and other uh, lecture we will be discussed in uh, any other form. Uh, so here we can see the tactromilimus. If we use tactromilimus in this type of the patient, in this case they will develop the glucose intolerance and diabetes mellitus. So when tactromilimus used in a renal transplanted patient, there is a great chance to develop diabetes mellitus. And it also less hypertension and hyperlipidemia. And in here we can see if we use MMF or mycophentolate mofetil, then its side effects is GIT and marrow suppression. So in case of we, we, we use the MMF or mycophenolate mofetil, then it will cause GIT suppression and bone marrow suppression. And if we use the serolimus, it can cause the hyperlipidemia and in case of monoclonal antibody it selective inhibits the interleukin 2 receptor and they are the names such as the basiliximab or uh, daclizumab 
they are the monoclonal antibodies so here uh, the some of the side effects which is very inf uh, important uh, for not only in the exam but also in uh, our daily life so monoclonal antibody it acts on uh, interleukin 2 receptor uh, serolimus it may causes hyperlipidemia and mmf causes git and bone marrow suppression and here tacrolimus it causes uh, glucose intolerance and diabetes and azotheoprion is causes myelosuppression bone marrow suppression alopecia and nausea and cyclosporine this is nephrotoxic so here we can see uh, the different uh, option here present but the nephrotoxicity it occurs due to this cyclosporine and other options such as hypo uh, hyperthyroid diabetes alopecia and hypothermia uh, they be caused by the other agents of this patient but in case of cyclosporine that is nephrotoxicity thank you all